What's up, everybody? Welcome to Sunny Side TV. And today we're looking at Door Kickers Action Squad here on the Nintendo Switch. I wish I could have reviewed this one, but I never got a review copy. So we're going to do the next best thing. We're going to sit here and show off all the levels that they have here. And we're going to show off some of the cool things they have. And this is an excellent, awesome fun game i have been enjoying the crap out of it now i've only played it for just a little bit but we're gonna go ahead and show all that stuff off so it has an online co-op a local mode so it has couch co-op and then the single player now there's three different modes here the infinity tower which i think is really cool randomly generated mayhem meaning uh the enemies and stuff are completely randomly generated so you're always going to get a different level every time that is really cool then we have a zombie mode invasion here uh, this is excellent as well. We got a whole mode full of zombies. I mean, oops. Uh, look at that. See, as, as you can see here. So there's different episodes even for this. Wow. this is, That's insane. Oh, okay. So, oh, what happens here is that they take the regular missions and then do it in zombie mode. So then we have the classic mode here. So we have 12 missions here, 6 here, 12, 18. So we have 30, about 50, maybe about 70 to 80 missions here. So there's a ton of content, but what I haven't showed off yet is there's a bunch of different classes who all have their own skill tree. So we have the Assaulter, the Breacher, the Shield, the Agent Fergie. We have Recon and Off-Duty. Now, I've messed with the Assaulter and the Shield. Uh, and if you look here, they all have their own skill tree. So every time you level, every time you beat a mission, or even if you die, you get experience. And it can all go towards a cool skill tree here. So each character has their own skill tree, which is excellent. They have their own skills. Um, if you look here, you can buy guns. So every time you beat a mission, you get stars and you can purchase upgrades for guns, gear, and all sorts of stuff. You can actually lay this out so I could buy flashbangs. I could buy all sorts of cool things. And then you have an ultimate here, a sniper support SMG. Bring your own at 9mm SMG machine pistol for these special days. I tried using this. I couldn't figure it out, but... Let's jump into this so you guys can see. There's a ton of missions, a ton of things, but let's check out the gameplay. Now, if you guys could do me a huge favor, hit that like button and sub to the channel for more gameplay and game reviews. I'd really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But let's just jump into this here. So, this mission, there's three different types of missions. There's kill everybody, rescue the hostages, and then arrest somebody. Unfortunately, I'm not going to show the arrest because it looks like that's one of the end missions. So I wish I would have had like a flashbang or something. So the more dangerous guys on the left here or the right, I should say. Okay. So the buttons are a little weird. I will say there we go. He's down. So as you guys can see on the bottom, my health, the blue is the, sh the armor and the left is my health. So this distracts him. So we're going to bring him out here. Oh, oh god i took a lot of damage there so in this mission we're literally trying to just rescue people so as you guys can see there's a ton of stuff happening down there we're gonna ignore it because i don't see the reason to even bother we're looking to rescue people now the dark rooms you can't see but if you had certain classes that could actually spot enemies like the recon that would come really in handy here so when you're playing local multi oh shoot <laughs> oh no i killed the hostage that was not my intention. All right. All right, cool. So I do this hoping that I'm distracting the enemies, right? And that they're coming this way, but they're not. Oh, I didn't reload. Oh my God. I almost want to restart. Let's just continue going. Oh, no, that was a complete screw up. There we go. So you gotta almost shoot before. Now I've lost to this. I've lost in this mission twice. So see, I have no reason to go down. I almost thought about going down, but there's no reason. Oh, there's a guy right here. Yeah, he's down. He's down. Now that special. I had a special where it said SMG, and I haven't been able to unlock that. Now if I would have used the sniper, it lets you shoot from distance, but there's no. There's like no point to that because um, you you're since you're playing single player, you have to kind of be up in the action. So I don't know how I could break down a door. I guess I'd have to run, right? 
So I had to get up and shoot <laughs> to not kill the hostage. I think I've only rescued like one, right? Ugh. So this one, we're going to distract him to the door. Got him. Okay, cool. So I'll be able to rescue these two ladies. Thank you. There we go. So this is where I've died up above. So what we're going to do is uh, every level you can actually get like an item. We're going to get the extra life. Now this is where I've died and I feel like I'm going to die again. Because I'm going into this with so little health. See, if I had a flashbang, that'd be incredible. So I'll, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a couple shots, try to take out that guy in the front, and then I'm going to run. Oh, man. All right, so let's see if we can catch that guy while he sees. This is already farther than I've already made it. Shoot. Oh, oh he's shooting the girl. Got him. And I saved the ladies. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is as far as I've made it. We could buy more armor. Let's see. Let's see if we can buy anything. Hold on. All right, can we buy a med kit? No, we're short on the med kit. The med kit would be amazing. Let's go ahead and grab the body armor. Just because I think we're down to the final room, right? All right. See if we can get them all to the door. Oh, there's too many. This isn't going to work. <laughs> Alright, so we got a life. So, this is actually, now that I think about it, this is as far as I made it. I've died this far. Oh! Okay, we got it. So buying that extra life was worth it. Thank you. Did I win? I think I rescued all of them, right? Oh, there's a roof. I haven't... No. Is there someone I haven't rescued? So that basement floor must be... Must be something. I didn't see any hostages down there, so let's go and take a look. I don't see any hostages down here. Maybe I have to take everybody out. Okay, so I have a melee move. And I'm going to have to utilize it. So we'll see if... Oh my god. Is there a smoother way to get into there down there? Not really. There is not a good way to go down here. Alright. We're going to have to deal with the crazy man down here. I can't. How do I? That was not my intention. <laughs> the door broke open. Oh, shoot. Okay, we're, we're still good, though. I got a lot of life. So we have two guys with knives. So this shouldn't be a problem. We'll stun him with the door. There it is. One star. Oh, that is rough. Only because I... So two hostages died. Maybe because I died once, I lost the star. All right, we're going to continue. So having only one star actually sucks because uh, I think what that means is that uh, I can't unlock a new item. I only get one item, one star, and I don't think there's anything worth unlocking. Let me do a, an old level to see if I can get some more stars. But the cool thing is we're messing with our skills. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reset my skill points. And I wanted to grab this. Your shield takes half the damage when you crouch down. So I'm always crouching. So let's see if this does anything better. So let's do this one last mission so you guys can kind of check this out. Uh, see, the fact that... Ooh, I can buy a flashbang. That's right, because I bought flashbangs. See, I didn't realize that. I had bought flashbangs on my assault. So now I have flashbangs. That would have been nice last level. That guy's not coming to the door. Ugh. Thank you. There we go. Oh man, I was reloading. 
All right, so I'm not taking like any damage, which is amazing. Thanks to that new uh, skill. This is this is the class to have the shield as a single player. Now, how do I melee again? The buttons are a little wonky because I have to reload with with A. Um, okay, it's left trigger. Okay. All right, cool. Got him. My health is halfway though. We're just gonna stun this guy. Fudge. I almost killed the ladies. Man, these rooms are tough. You know what I could do is I could throw a flashbang. How do I throw a flashbang? Flash. Oh, there it is. So it's the right bumper. <laughs> oh! Mission oh, I died. All right, let's restart that. How did I die? I guess I wasn't paying attention to my health. The good thing is that the game loads up really quick, so you guys could see me fail at least, right? It's Oh no. Oh, I keep thinking that it's a breach door, so I don't shoot right away. This room's a trap, man. Is there any way to avoid it? If only I could climb up. Okay, so I'm almost dead already. Which is really tough. Okay. Got those two. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy health. Or I can even buy a life. Let's buy a life. There we go. Stunned him. Nice. All right, let's see if we can get this last one here. Nice. Thank you. All right, almost. Let's see if we can actually buy something. Let's buy the health. There we go. All right, we got this. Last door, do I have any flashbangs? I have one more, so we're gonna, I was gonna say we're gonna use it for this, but maybe we don't need to. Oh, that was close. I almost died. Is that it? There it is. Mission successful. And I leveled. Sweet. And I got three stars. That's awesome. Let's check that out. So let me see if I can mess with. Um, so, ooh, so I only gained one star because of. Oh, that sucks. So I'd have to redo that mission to get more stars. And stars are, like I said, important to unlock new stuff. So now you guys can see, based on your success, it'll determine if you can unlock more gear. So that's interesting. Uh, I think I like that. It's it's decent. It forces you to kind of go back and, and play a little better. But I can imagine only how much fun this would be multiplayer. But this is uh, Action Squad Door Kickers here on the Nintendo Switch. Couldn't recommend this more. Definitely pick it up. Uh, this is a fun game. Couldn't recommend more. I'm going to see if I can try to review it uh, if I have time. I'd love to review this one and kind of go deep into it a little further so I can uh, show this off to you guys. But uh, that's going to be it for me here on Sunnyside TV. Thank you guys for watching. Like always, if you guys can hit that like button and sub to the channel for more gameplay and game reviews because I cover all types of new games that come out for the Nintendo Switch. So definitely good reason to sub if you're interested. But I'm out. Thank you guys again for watching. Like always, I hope you all have a sunny day.